Hi, Ray Pointer here, and I'm going to show you how we can use Copilot in Excel to create NPS categories really easily. So, here's the context. I'm running a course on how to use Copilot to master Excel um, in a couple of weeks, and I want to show you some of the things that we're going to be doing to give you a, a sense of what you can do, what you will learn, um, and how you'll be able to apply it afterwards. So here's a simple set of customer satisfaction data. We've only got five interviews, <laughs> make life nice and simple. We've got likelihood to recommend, and we want to add a column um, that will classify them as promoter, detractor, neutral. You can already do that, I'm sure, yourself in Excel, but we can make the process a little easier um, and maybe use a slightly different formula than the one you would have used. So let's get started. I'm gonna click on Copilot in the ribbon and when I click on Copilot, it brings down um, that side panel for me and right down at the bottom is where I'm gonna put my prompt. So I type in my prompt in nice lat uh, natural language, create a new column called NPS category. If the value in the cells is a nine or a 10, put promoter in the cell. If it is a seven or an eight, put neutral in the cell, otherwise put detractor in the cell. So I'm talking to it in a really straightforward term. I've not even said which columns. It shows me the formula it's going to use. So it brings up an if with an or, another if with an or, um, and then it's going to use the default else in order to get detractor. If I want to understand more about that formula, then I can click in the Copilot uh, panel, show the explanation. If I click on show the explanation, then it tells me what exactly it's doing and how the if statement works and why the detractor falls out if neither of the condition is applicable. Then it shows me the result and it shows me that it's going to generate a promoter, neutral, detractor, detractor, promoter. And it gives me the option to insert the column. So I click on insert the column and there we have back in the original table um, the answers that we would expect to see there for the data. Of course, next time I want to do that, I don't need to use Copilot. I could use Copilot next time, but it shows me what the formula is. I will have that formula in the spreadsheet. I could simply copy and paste it. And this is true of really complicated formulas, uh, not just the simple one we use there, but anything else, Copilot will generate it. And then we can either ask Copilot next time, or we could simply remember, copy and paste the formula, and put it in where we need it. If you want to learn more about using Copilot to really start to master Excel, then please come along and visit us at researchwise.com slash academy slash upcoming hyphen courses and you'll see this course on using Copilot for Excel and several other courses as well. So I hope you've found that interesting look out for some more examples. There'll be another um, couple of examples of how to use Copilot to help you get to grips with Excel in a better way.